What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, it was time to sell a few investments guys. Uh, we made some good coins on these guys actually. Um, first things first, thank you for being here. If you could drop a thumbs up that would be amazing. I asked a few, uh, couple of episodes ago, I asked to see if we could hit 2.5k likes and we got over 3.3k. So if we could go over 3k again that would be amazing. Look down below, if it's less than 3k likes just drop a thumbs up. Now, I obviously I invested in a whole bunch of informs and cards and special cards just waiting for a rainy day. You know, I saw them at a low price and I thought I'd get, get some money back for them now. All of these cards that I bought here, I bought for 12,000 coins or less, uh, except for Lang, who I bought for 18,000, expecting him to potentially be needed for player of the month. Um, but yeah, Kramer I picked up for 11,000. Lejeune cost me about 13,000. Uh, Mitrovic I bought for 18,000 and sold during the hype of uh, Sessignon. Bamford I actually packed. Chester I bought for 11,000 and Oviedo I bought for 11,000. So we made some good profits here and I've actually, I feel like I've got a whole bunch of dudes on the trade pile that also might be worth selling right now. 11.5k for this guy. Um, I mean, no, I'll hold on to him for now. I could get 14k for him, but I'm not really that interested. And here's another Lejeune here. Lejeune, uh, apologies if I pronounced it wrong. So I bought him for 15,000 and we'll be able to get rid of him for 22,000. So it's only like um, a little bit of profit, but that was the whole point of purchasing these cards. You know, like they, they were at their low point, low value, and just worth hanging on to until, uh, you know, a rainy day, essentially. And we might see here again. So uh, Ki Sung Yung, 15.2k. Looks like he's, was that one here, yeah, 18k. I'll hold on to him for now. He's not really low enough. Uh, 10k, 10.5k for Tompkins, who is selling, as you can see right there, for 20,000 or so now. There's actually a few for 19,000. Um, so we'll list him up for 19,000. And it's, it was just a, a good, profitable exercise. And one thing that I learned this year, um, more than I've learned in other years in terms of the market, is buying cards when there's just no reason to buy them because that's the best time to buy them. Like I bought a lot of those informs at discard price because there was no good reason to pick them up. They weren't needed for anything. They weren't like price hiked for anything. So that way, if if they never needed, I'll always be able to get my money back, maybe less a little bit of tax. But if they're ever needed, I'll make some good profit off them. So uh, yeah, really happy with what we did with that. It gets us back up to nearly that uh, like, well, 5.8 million coin mark which I'm super, super chuffed with. We finished gold two in squad battles as well, which is fantastic. I, and how brilliant is it that we finished gold two in squad battles from doing weekly objectives and daily objectives? Th this is what this game should be about. Just playing to play for fun, to grind, and getting good rewards for it. So we get a jumbo premium gold pack and a premium gold players pack. I think that's a great reward for like what felt like no effort. We even get a ball player. How about that? Yeah, it just felt like no effort for me. Oh, German, center back. Ah, oh, I mean, that's still really good, Mustafi, but obviously you hope for Boateng or Hummels, but Mustafi 84 is fantastic. We'll store him in the club. We'll be able to use him um, in a future. Ooh, another, another 83 as well. I'll also keep top rag. And just so you guys know, now is probably a good chance and a good time to pick up 83s uh, in the market because they're super cheap right now. Uh, so Mustafi is a really nice, uh, a really nice pull there. We'll store all of this stuff to the club for now. Hawk Chem style as well, which is pretty sick. A thousand coin unlock and a Martin Skull. That's a really good 15k pack. I don't even care. That's uh, again for squad battles. I'll take that. And then we get a 25k pack as well. Undoubtedly, nothing is going to be in this one. We had too much luck in that 15k pack for us to get anything out of this. We get another board. How about that? Come on, let's have an 85 this time. A little bit higher. Petr Cech, Petr Cech, let's go. So we get uh, Mustafi and Petr Cech from Arsenal. That is a huge pull. Squad battles, gold two OP. Petr Cech coming out of the pack. A nice big 86 rated card, uh, which is really nice. Who else do we get in there? And another 83 as well. I mean, I'm really, really chuffed with that. That is fantastic. Let's have a look at how much he's going for. I mean, that's like a 25, 30k card. Hey, listen. We've had worse weekend leagues, right? We get Mustafi, Czech. We probably made, with the 13,000 coins and the players, we probably made somewhere around, I don't know, 30, 40, but like 60 to 70,000 coins off of that. For goal two in squad battles, like maybe even more than 70,000 coins if I sell all the players at like an optimum time. But to get that from just doing weekly objectives, that's what this game should be about. You know what I mean? That, it, it just really is. That's what this game should be about, in my opinion. We're up over 5.8 million as well now, which is great. 
I haven't done a check on the prices of uh, everything that I've got for a while. Um, so I don't I don't know how much I've got still in the club. Like I thought I had eight to eight and a half million, um, but I did make a few bad trades and I, I don't I don't really know where I'm at. Like we've got Higuain here that we picked up for three hundred and forty two thousand. He's at about three hundred thousand at the moment. So we'd get three that would take us to like six point one. Uh, we've got the 89 Acardi that we picked up for 114,000. He's still about the same, maybe 100k or so, uh, maybe even 90k or so. So there's, there's about 400k just between those two there, which would put us to 6.2. We do have a lot of other guys. I, I invested quite heavily, like this Sigurdsson for 23,000. He's probably much less now. He's probably down at like the 21s or 20. Oh, he's not actually. He's still up at like 23s. That's really good. That means I did get him for a low point then. And, and I looked to get him. I got him simply because I thought he'd be usable in player of the month. Same with Jer Jersey Outdoor. Uh, picked him up for 20,000 coins. This is actually a good card for 20k as well. Um, and it looks like we'll, again, we'll, we'll lose potentially just some tax on him. That's not a problem at all. Um, in terms of other special cards, I've, I've also picked up this Giroud, expecting him to be uh, used in player of the month. I got him for 31k. It looks like he's 36k now. Yeah, there's a 35k bid on him. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to get rid of him. Um, so if we sell him for 36, that's 1.8k tax. That's still a 3k profit when I bought that for player of the month. So that that's, you know, 3k is not the, the most insane amount of coins, but it's not the worst either. Uh, I also bought Kalasnach, that's quite an expensive card as well, just in case he was needed. So I bought him for 50 some odd. Yeah, there's a bid on him there for 55. I've only seen the minimum bin so far at like 65, so I might be able to get rid of him for like 64k and make a good bit of profit on him as well. And it, it does look like I will be able to get rid of him for, there's one at 66 there. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. So again, picking him up at 56,500, I'll be able to go and buy him up for 64k or sell him up, sorry, for 64k. That'd be like, what's that? 3,200, so like 1,600 on tax. Um, no, sorry, 3,200 on tax. Um, so that take us down. That still makes us about 5k profit, which isn't too bad either. Um, but I did uh, this. This I've lost coins on. I bought Daily Blind for 28k. He's got to be low. He's got to go lower now. Yeah, 25k, probably down to like 22s. And that's because people were buying the team of the group stages, expecting um, a team of the groups, a team of the knockout stage SBC. I don't know if Team of the Knockout stage is coming now, um, so the player prices for these dropped or not, but I bought him for Player of the Month, potential investment, so you know we don't win on all of them, of course. Abubakar picks up a 23k, looks like he's a little bit higher now as well, might be able to get rid of him for like 25, oh no, he's still 23k there as well, fair play. And I also bought Gelson Martins, just to try him out, I played, I played him for like one game, so I bought him for 21, let's list him up for like uh, 24, so we'll potentially make a little bit of profit, a few hundred coins on him. Uh, Jermaine Defoe, we picked up for 20k. He does look like he's a little bit higher now as well. So now, now is the time for me, whilst I can make money off of these investments, to make the money. It's not the most insane money, but what I'll do is I'll reconvene afterwards. 38k for Oxay Chamberlain, and I'll get 42k for him. Um, that'd be about two. 2.1k in tax, that, that'll still be 2k profit. And then what I'll do is, oh crap, I didn't want to list him for 40. Ah, well, never mind. Um, as, as you can see, I bought a lot of dudes. Uh, I bought a lot of players here. You know, Anthony Martial was well, another one. I overpaid on him. I tried to buy him in hype, but I don't think. Wait, why is he 100k almost? No, 55. That, I was going to say, well, I don't know why his price has gone up. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got a lot of coins in the club still. I, I don't know if I'm up at 8 million like I thought I was. Um, but I'm not far off, and, and I have invested a lot in 83s and, and so on and so forth, right? So there's, there is a lot of coins in this club still. That, uh, I knew I knew I shouldn't, have, like, it doesn't matter really. I bought him for 38k, I sold him for 40k, after tax, I literally got my coins back. Can't really complain too much about that. Um, so in terms of today's daily objectives, uh, we're not going to do all of them right here. In fact, I don't think I'm going to do any of them because what I think I am going to do, because this video has already got on for 10 minutes here, is I am going to complete the Player of the Month Sessignon, sorry, the Player of the Year Sessignon on the Road to Glory. And here's why. First things first, I don't think that, and unless you need this card and want this card and love this card, I don't think you should do it, right? And the reason why I say that is because traditionally, the championship... Uh, and League 2 and League 3 team of the season comes a few days after the Premier League. So after most consistent, you're probably looking at about no more than three weeks until Sessegnon has his actual team of the season card, which will be tradable, 
and most likely cheaper than this current SBC. This current SBC, according to Footbin, is at the moment 48,000 coins on PlayStation. I don't think this card will be more than 48,000. I actually think it'll be about 25 to 30,000 coins for this card. Uh, the reason why I'm going to do it is because it's a different look for the card. So it's obviously the player of the year card instead of a team of the season card. And because I've already got the investments in the club for cheap, it's probably only going to have cost me around the 25 to 30,000 coin mark. Um, on top of that, I really want to just use him. I wouldn't mind using him in DKT or in uh, Weekend League this weekend. You know, we've got a quite a big, strong England contingency. Um, so I'm more than happy to go around using them. Now, I am going to use this Snodgrass card. Uh, it's a good card for me to use here. You know, he's a championship red. He's only 81 rated, but he fits a lot of what I need um, out of uh, everything that we, we have here available to us. And then I don't have any golds from the championship which is a bit of a problem for um, it's a bit of a problem for my rating. Um, however, uh, let, let's pop him in there. Let's pop the uh, let's pop this guy in there. And let's just pop Snodgrass there. Um, so wait, do I? Oh, I only have. I do need another championship player. Let's pop him in there. So because eighty threes are so cheap right now. I am going to just use a couple of 83s, um, like centre-backs or centre-mids. I know I've got a few good ones. Like I think we've got a couple of Portuguese um, 83s available to us that should really help out. Yeah, I see plenty of Portuguese 83s, actually. So if we take... How much did I buy Charisma for? He's first owner. I want to check his price. Um, Silva, Carvalho, Pereira... Jean Mario, Rui Patricio, Pizzi. Obviously, I'm not going to use all 83s. I'm only going to use potentially, hopefully potentially, just a couple of them. But I just want to use the guys that didn't really cost me much. So 1,700 for him and 1,700 for him. And and when you go into this, like buying championship players, and the re this is the reason why I'm happy to use those silvers, buying championship players is ridiculously expensive now. The gold championship players, like John Terry, for example, is like 8K. So using a 2K... Uh, Pereira here, not a problem for me, you know. Um, what I did want to do was check the uh, check the value of Charisma, just to make sure he's not like a 3, 4k player, as long as he's only like 2, 2.5k. So he's almost a 3k player. I don't know if that's necessarily going to be worth it. We'll find out. Um, let's put Pereira in there. That takes up to 52 chemistry. I don't have any fullback, sadly. How much did I buy Jao Mario for? 1,900. I think that would probably be better um, for Jao Mario. So I do need a couple of informs. So do I have any Premier League informs? I mean, I, I know I have plenty, but do I have any like cheap Premier League informs? So this actually, Ki Sung Kyung was quite cheap, but I'm going to need to link all of the players that I've got. So I am going to need some informs that are worth popping in. So Zoot was way too expensive. I'm obviously never going to use him. Moses was nice and cheap at 16,000 coins for a Premier League in form. As long as he's not like 20, 30k. So he's, he is about 19, 20k, but I think we can pop Moses in there. I don't, I don't know if that's worthy. I don't really know if that's worth it. Chemistry is okay at the moment. We're getting close for chemistry. Let me see what I've got for Premier League players and, and how far we are. So we put Christensen in there. Let's put ourselves at English Scott Dan in there because he gets links around. So that's 74 rated. Let me just pop a goalkeeper in there for the time being to see where we're at. All right, so a Premier League goalkeeper is enough for, for rating. We're, we're a bit away from the chemistry, which is sad. Sorry, from the rating. Um... And that might mean, see that only takes us to 78, that's not even close enough either. Yeah, that's going to be, that is going to be a little bit of a problem. I'll tell you what dudes, I don't want to waste like way loads of time. So let me go and figure this out off camera and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have finished up the team. Uh, I went and bought a couple of Portuguese players, just made it a little bit easier for me. So we picked up Beto for 17,500. João Mario cost us 1,900. Uh, Pereira, 1,700. Venacio for 600, uh, Silva a first owner, but he's worth 1800 as well. Uh, Carvalho 1700, Whelan 800, Carv Cavalero 1000, Edinho 18,000, and then this red Snodgrass. So altogether, I worked this out. It's cost me 41,000 
for what I had to spend. Uh, and then obviously we're also including the red snodgrass and this um, this silver here. Now normally I would look at this and be like, oh, this looks like a very silly team to waste for this. But because 83s are so cheap right now, I don't mind dumping four 83s in there. Specifically you don't mind... Uh, because they're they're like the cheapest 83s. Like I'll actually probably be able to buy them back for less than what I'm dumping them for here. So I'll have a look on their price. See, like the 15, 1500 on open bids right now, and I picked them up for 1700. So I, I think this is a reasonable um, a reasonable difference. And also, it's it's fun to consider the fact that I actually would have made a lot of money off of selling the informs um, that are price hikes because of this card, you know? So we've actually made some really good profit back off of it as well. So a good little bit of a give and take there, but we've completed Ryan Sessegnon's Player of the Year card. Um, it's a good card. We obviously used this left-back card before. I really wish this was a left-back card as well. Three-star, three-star, high-medium, 5'10". Uh, I don't think they gave him much of a defending or physical boost. His dribbling's real nice, his ball control not the best, but reactions are good. Passing's very good, crossing's very good, shooting is very good outside of long shots, and then obviously pace is very good. Now, I've seen some people say, you can just play this guy on 7 chem at left back if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, I, I take that on board. I actually think he would do okay at left back on 7 chem with a sentinel chemistry style. So, um, you know, you, you could obviously look into that. Now, this is a team that I built. I'm going to be using this team in the daily knockout tournament. Um, but... Uh, Oh, come on, man. I hate when it does that. Um, but uh, I will be building a team at one stage or another through this week to put Ryan Sessegnon in. You know, we've got a lot of really good English players in this squad now. You know, we've got Rooney, Sessegnon, Sterling, Rashford. We've got this Moore card that obviously Sessegnon gets a strong link into. So if we did play him at left back, gets a strong link to Moore, which is great. Um, and I'm, I'm just generally like quite, uh, quite happy with where the account is right now we're up to nearly 5.9 million coins now guys because a couple more of those players sold i guess maybe kalasnach sold or whatever um but somebody has sold there on the trade pile so uh, I, I think i'm gonna have a look through i haven't like had a proper look through my whole club in a while and uh, yeah i think oh that kalasnach did sell there you go profit on both of these which is perfect um i'm gonna have a look a proper look through all of the players in my club and go and see what we can sell that's going to get us some good profit back, and then start reinvesting. Um, start reinvesting when we can, really. So let's have a look at this guy's price. Oh, so 83s have gone back up. That's either because everyone's investing in them, or Jesus Christ, this guy's over 3k. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that, that 83s have either gone back up because everyone's investing in them, or they've gone back up because of this SBC. That makes me sit here and think, is it time to now get rid of all the 83s that I invested in because they're going to be worth even more than they were before? Let's have a look at Mustafi as well. If he's worth like more than 8 or 9k, I might sell him. Mm, 6k, I'll keep hold of him. Let's have a look at Lopez. Picked him up for 4k. No, of course, he's still real cheap. PZ is probably going to be quite expensive then. 1.8k I bought him for. Oh, wow, 3.6k on him. Jesus. Well, we'll take him. And again, making, making some profit, dudes. Making some profit off of the guy's that we paid for, so Kaga was still quite cheap, Forsberg, it's only going to be the, the I guess the Portuguese ones actually, I guess all, all the guys that I just used are probably going to be the most expensive ones, simply because, um, simply because uh, people are probably doing exactly what I just did, building a Portuguese squad around those players, so I know that uh, Charisma is about 3k, so we'll list him up as well, let's have a look at the likes of uh, Piszczek as well, I packed him, yeah, I mean, he's he's like 3K, 3K too. Okay, so I'll do this off camera, dudes. I'm not going to sit here and waste all your time. I just want to have another look at a few... Uh, let's have a look at uh, Nzonzi and Schneiderlin. So I paid 1800 for Nzonzi. And then, yeah, big big nations, it looks like. Big nations are going to be right up there in price because they're really easy to link. So I bought 2K for Giuliano. He's about the same. And uh, Morgan Schneiderlin here as well. We'll check. Bought him for 1900 Wow, he's like less than 3K still. That's quite surprising. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we've completed Sessegnon Player of the Year. We made some good profits selling off those informs. And, uh, yeah, our, our club is in a real good spot right now. Another bit of profit off of Jermaine Defoe as well. We're nearly back up at that 6 million coin mark with a whole bunch of really heavy investments still in the club, which is great. This, though, dude, is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.